Hello guys, welcome to another special video. First of all, I want to thank you guys for supporting me in the previous video. This video is kind of special because I am making it on the request of my subscribers. So in this video, I am going to clear out the problems that some of you guys have pointed out from the previous video tutorial. This is the continuation of our previous video. And in this video, I will be explaining in detail the implementation, rather I can say customization of the country picker in React Native. So for those who have not watched the video yet and want to follow along, can see the video, the previous video rather. The link is popping up in the right corner of your screens. Uh, so we will be uh, taking it from there. As you can see already on our screen, we are on to that point already. So previously, we had installed and implemented the country ping picker, as you can see on the screen. Now we will be starting from this point and customly style that picker. So first things first, uh, we will be just creating the style sheet for the things. Country picker comes with a lot of props that you can see uh, the link for the documentation will be uh, in the description of the video so right now we have to style uh, the phone field so for that we have this phone styles prop uh, and in this phone styles prop we will be passing a style object as it's mentioned in the documentation so we will be doing that so phone styles and in phone styles we will be passing styles dot phone and we will be creating this styles object here like here so first of all we want to just erase this border so for that we will do the border width and set it to zero and also we want to define a particular height for it so we will for now we will uh, take the height as 40 and and now we will also give it a nice background color of white and uh, to make it look, to make it look a bit better we will be showing it a nice background of blue color and let's see how it looks yeah looks great till now so also we will be giving it a border radius of I guess 10 to make it look a bit rounder okay also now we will be uh, styling uh, this uh, input where the selected field is being displayed for this also we are getting a, a prop and that prop is called as uh, country code container styles this one here so we'll be using this styles to style it styles dot country code so for this little element we will also be doing almost things we will be giving it a nice height of 45 and border width of 0 border 
previous of this 10 that we have to the previous one like so and a nice margin right of this 10 so we will be just bolding out this text from here so for that we will update the country code text and put the font weight element here to bold so now you can see it's a bit bolder and also we will be now styling the search box right here so for that we have another prop search styles and in search styles we will be doing almost same things we will be giving it a background color of white we will be giving it a height of 45 and we will be giving it a border to the zero and border radius of 10 so now you can see that this search bar has also been styled according to our needs so also we get another prop to style these search results panel and for that also there comes a prop and that's called as drop down styles we can use this prop also to style that thing so the problem we will do border radius of 10 background color of white border width of 0 and margin top of 10 yes and then here yeah, drawdown styles styles of drawdown as you can see it has styles have been applied to the drop down menu and we can style it in whatever way we want for example if we increase the border radius instead of white we can give it more color so that it can look a bit hazy type of thing like this we can also like do it like this okay so auto selection it will be like this so now to style it even more we can create a more text We can also design this country picker in a more modern way by using the shadows like in most of the modern designs what we uh, do is use shadows instead of the borders and those shadows uh, automatically just marks out the boundaries of that uh, uh, input box so for that we will be creating the shadows in react native and for that we will be using an online platform 
or an online website that helps us to easily generate the shadows for React Native. What it does, it, it gives us the styles object for the shadow. With this slider, we can adjust the shadow as we want in our application. For example, we want a deep shadow like this. So, what we do, we just copy all these styles and what we do is we'll just create another style object for the shadow thing so that we can uh, use it wherever we want in our code so let us indent this code a bit okay so we will change the opacity to I guess 30 percent and wherever we want to use this uh, we want to use in this uh, input field of the mobile number and the uh, place where the country code is being displayed in the search results and in the search bar of the country code so let's go and just place it wherever we want so we will be using it here styles dot shadow the style we created for the shadow thing and on the country code container also styles dot shadow in the search bar also styles dot shadow and in the drop down for the search results also we will be using styles dot shadow so you guys might be thinking what is this uh, array notation for the styles this is nothing this is just uh, what what we do in react native is that uh, uh, if we have multiple style objects we can just combine them together uh, by passing them as an array uh, to the styles object and it automatically destructures that uh, styles object and uh, creates a, a main object uh, of styles for that uh, uh, for that element so there, uh, this is basically just the destructuring of the um, uh, styles object here the phone style and the shadow style so let's save it and look how the code looks so here is the preview of a wrap so to make it look more better we can do is give it a background of white color look now you can see that this is looking more elegant and it looks like it is the input boxes are popping out of the display like it like uh, uh, in most of the modern design we use these kind of input style boxes and as we can see that if we do the search results also this shadow is just uh, enclosing nicely and encompassing the uh, boundaries of this search bar too so like this so in this way you can style your input boxes or the country code picker uh, more specifically uh, in a way whatever you want uh, whatever uh, design patterns your app for follows you can just give these input types the, the, oh, the styles of that uh, design so that it doesn't feel that it's a separate entity so like this you can style this input box in whatever way you want another request or problem that most of you people raised was that picker is facing some sort of issues when we enclose it inside of a scroll view so let's see what happens when we enclose this country code picker inside of a scroll view so for that we will just mm, uh, include this scroll view and then we will enclose this country picker inside of that scroll view like this scroll view so when we save this code you can see on the preview window here that this scroll view uh, has restricted the width of this country code picker uh, and we are not able to properly view it so First of all, let's uh, try to understand this re the reason behind it. 
uh, so basically what is happening is that uh, the scroll the scroll view react native scroll view by default it doesn't have any uh, uh, defined dimensions or width and height so it basically adjusts itself the dimension of itself by the content that is placed inside of the scroll view so what is happening here as the scroll view doesn't have any width so drop down picker by default doesn't uh, have any parent with a defined width so it's not spanning to the entire width or whatever the width of its parent is so let's try to fix this so what we will do we will just pass a style object and define its width right here for example we will define it as 95 percent when we save it you can see that uh, this uh, country code drop down picker is perfectly visible now as it should i think i think and hope that all of your questions have been answered now so if you like the video do like share and subscribe to the channel and if you have any suggestions or problems drop down in the comment section below for now bye bye take care happy coding